Well, hello and welcome back to my channel, uh, episode two of this Let's Play series. Thank you so much for coming back if you've come back from the first one, and welcome if this is the first video that you're seeing. Lots of exciting things going on for this episode. I have lots of plans. As you can see, I actually wrote them down. Yay! <laughs> like last time. So yeah, let's take a look at what our plans are. So I do want to create... Um, some portals on the ceiling of the nether so that I can you know travel a little bit more efficiently to and from my base I'd also like to be a little bit more fuel efficient so I might be creating a new bamboo farm because I don't think that just mining coal is going to cut it for what I need to do in terms of burning up all that sand to make it into glass I do want to collect about two to three chests of glass just so that we can actually start working on our snow globe a little bit better and creating an outpost at the snow globe just to make things easier have a bed have some chests with um, glass and all that fun stuff in terms of other goals not necessarily for today but more long-term goals I do want to get a beacon which will involve killing the wither which I'm a hundred percent not ready for I, I I don't want it I don't think I'm ready and I'm terrified so I do want to create a beacon and I also want some choker boxes, but we'll see how that goes. Whoa, camera. Yeah, I'm still getting used to this first, uh, this view camera thing, so please bear with me. <laughs> All right, well, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are ready to do a terrifying thing, which is going into the nether. I don't like it. It's not my favorite thing in the world to do. There's a lot of scary things there, um, but we must find a safe way to go around this world so I'm going to attempt to actually put this portal up on the top of bedrock in the nether and I'm also going to be putting um, a portal to my new base location so that it's easier to go back and forth and so that I can also transport all the materials that I've been gathering and I guess without further ado let's go into the nether Okay, we are here, and the first thing we need to actually do is huh, break the portal itself so that when we create the new one, it doesn't mislink on the other side. Alright, so that is broken and all done. Let's see where we are. So we are at 38, and we need to get ourselves up to 227. That is the block that we're looking for now. There are a couple ways of doing this. We can go into that way and try to get on top of that. Or we can just try to dig our way up here. Let's just get some. Oh no. Okay. So what it looks like is like we're going to have to actually go through a couple mobs maybe before we do anything. Okay, we're here. We're a little higher up. Oh, we need to get ourselves all the way up there. Okay, let's just keep doing this. Okay, this seems very dangerous. Alright, um, let's just make us a little cave up there that we can then enclose. And that might backfire if there's actually lava at the top here. So, let's just do that. Okay, we are relatively safer than we were before. Okay, 107. Okay, not bad, not bad. We are almost at bedrock. I believe in this. Ah, bedrock. Okay, what are we looking up there? 20. Okay, so they said this might happen, and when it does, you just need to find a way. Wait, are we looking at 20? No. We're looking at 27. Okay, so we need to find a double block of one of those. Okay, cool. We can do this. I think 126 might be it. And that is a double block. Okay, we have the double block. We'll put up a ladder. There. Let's get our ender pearl and throw it up in the ceiling. <gasps> we did it! We did it! 
oh my gosh, we did it, we made it. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually find our base coordinates, which should be fairly wet. Did we actually just land exactly where we need to be? Okay, so we've built the portal. We've activated the portal. Now all that remains is to safe it. Make sure that nothing spawns up here. And we'll test it, let's see. And it worked beautifully. Oh my god, it worked perfect. It worked, it worked! Okay, so since that worked so well, what we're gonna do is actually grab some signs. We're gonna go back through the portal. And we're gonna label it. Uh, to underground base. Yay, so now it's labeled and we can put some light. Alright, so now that we have you done, let's go find the coordinates for the other one. Okay, flint and steel, let's do this. Woo, it worked. Okay, let's not label it yet. But let's actually save it because we want to make sure that nothing has spawned here when we're when we come back through it. Okay. All right, let's see what happens when we go through it. It worked. It worked. It worked. We are at our new base, the one that we're building. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And I haven't really done any work on this yet, so soon. <laughs> but now we actually have an easy way to transport things back and forth without actually... Oh, well, you know, we misfired a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind. We'll be creating a little outpost here anyway, but it worked. We did it. All right, and we're back from the nether and now back into our iron suit. Because that's enough for when we're just building and doing this stuff. So where are we right now? This is kind of like a little temporary station I've created near the base. Um, and its purpose is purely to put all the sand when I collect it. And then convert that sand into white stained glass. Now, the major problem we're having is we have no more fuel. We actually have no more coal. We pretty much run out of bamboo as well. So... I'm actually thinking about creating a new bamboo farm here, maybe something similar to that over there, but we're not going to work on that right now. What I'm actually thinking about doing is uh, doing something a little bit fun, <laughs> because I just came back from the nether, so I don't want to go into a big project. I think what I'm going to do is create a little outpost at our base, which is that way. So let's go do that. So we are back at the base, and look at that! Pillagers! Again! Fantastic. Let's kill them so that we can work in peace. And they're dead. Alright, so anyway, back to what we were actually doing here. Thinking about creating a little outpost here, and the outpost purpose is going to be to obviously house our bed, so it is a little bit safer. Um, also, I'm hoping to get at least 10 full-size chests in here so that when I'm just working on that over there, I don't have to be going back and forth and I can have all the stained glass there. So, it's not going to be a fantastic design. All I have is oak wood and sand. And sand is going primarily to that. So, we're going to do our best to build an oak wood little outpost. Excuse me. Get out of my house. No. No. Are you out? You're an invis Did you drink an invisibility potion? Are you still here? Yeah, you... I'm pretty sure you drank an invisibility potion, did you? I think it might be time for you to die. I'm gonna leave. 
el que don. Hello? Are you lost? Hi, um... Where are you? I hear the villager, but I don't see him. I'm gonna go get some leads and maybe bring them back with me. Hey, so I'm back from getting a better pickaxe so that I can actually get that stuff done. But now I have these two llamas. Okay, well, let's bring them one at a time, I guess. <laughs> Will it go through the portal? Yes, she did. Okay. Hello. Come. Come, come. This is gonna be your new home right here. I'm gonna have to figure out what llamas eat and how to keep them happy. Okay, well, they're there now. Hello! Where's your merchant? What happened to him? I know. I know. Oof. Okay, well, welcome home. Alright, so I decided to remove that thing there, but it's looking pretty dark, so I'm wondering if we- Oh, it dies immediately. <gasps> Is that gonna happen inside of the snow globe? This might be a problem. Okay, we might just use like wool or concrete and solve it some. Okay, move. Yeah, there we go. Move. And solve it some other way. Okay, so I picked this area because it was big enough for this. What happens if we put it here? Immediately dark. Huh. Because we already started and we just created the outpost. But we're also not far gone enough that we could restart if that is what was needed. Oh, but the outpost. It's already almost ready. Yeah, I, I was hoping that it would bring a little color, but it did not. Okay, jungle leaf. Whew. Okay, so the jungle leaf also did not survive this. I'm gonna have to think about this. So, after that awful realization that the leaves do this, which is that they turn all ugly in that biome and that there was nothing I could do about it other than trying to use some wool or concrete or something else to replicate the feeling of leaves, I actually decided to move. Um, yeah, I decided to move everything, so here's what you missed. Alright, so you missed a lot of this, and a lot of this, and well, a lot of this. You also missed me breaking down my entire previous outpost, migrating everything over to the new one, rebuilding the outpost, and making a whole railway in order to get from here to the new base outpost, because it was actually a fairly long distance. I also wanted to show you guys this thing I just finished building over here. It actually makes it lag so much. Oh my god. Yep, just like that. So this makes me lag. I don't know why. Um, the server can't really keep up with this. Uh, but basically I replicated this design from Il Mango. He didn't actually explain how the collection system for something that is producing so much bamboo would work. Um, this was from just keeping it on for like two minutes. So um, I guess we have our fuel problem solved in the short term. I'm going to try to turn it on and hope it doesn't break. But this is basically how it works and how I kind of managed to make it so that the hoppers don't overfill and we're missing out on some items there. It's super noisy. I'm going to turn it off uh, because it's already trying to do a lot there but yeah this is the new way of the bamboo to make sticks and then actually be able to burn up some of that sand and make some more glass there were two last things i wanted to show you guys before we're kind of wrapping up for the day here so the first one is the new location for 
the snow globe base. I think this should be plenty of room and looks like it's very minimal terraforming that it will require. So that's <laughs> that's always good. So yeah, this is kind of what it looks like and this is my view. <laughs> Um, I think it's going to work well and the other great thing is that there's a lot of spruce trees right over there so it actually gave me the ability to change up a little bit um, the colors that I used in the outposts and make it a little bit more interesting so let me show you that now all right so this is the snow globe outpost I still need to work on a, uh, properly lighting the place up but I went with some kind of oak tree, uh, oak leaves around uh, the fence here just to make it look a little bit more interesting. We'll go inside last. Um, <laughs> I've also collected, adopted an array of animals um, over the past little bit here. So all these llamas, all four of them, were collected because the traveling merchant went through the portal, uh, the first two on the first outpost that we tore down, and the other two here, and yeah, the, we just lost them. We couldn't find them. The llamas were freaking out in the nether. So I adopted them and I brought them here. I still haven't figured out what they eat or anything like that. So I haven't made this space very nice yet. Um, but yeah, this little sheep, this little fella right here, um, he actually, or she, because she's pink now, um, she spawned here while I was building this little pen for them. And these horses just kind of appeared here and wandered in. So I let them be here. So this is my new animal farm, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to keep them here and try to give them maybe a water source. I don't know. I'm going to have to research because I honestly have no idea what Minecraft animals require. Um, but yeah, I also made two little viewing areas over here, two little seats. Um, I'm hoping to make this actually like potted flowers in the future, uh, depending on how long it takes me to actually build the snow globe, uh, kind of beautify the space a little. But for now, I just put some more leaves there. Now on to the main event, the inside of the outpost. Yay! <laughs> All right, on this side, we have a little table with all the clay I had was used to make this one flower pot bed a uh, you know random stuff chest and we've already migrated all the glass that we have here and I did not make it to my goal so yes I did not make it to the goal of however two or three chests that I wanted to but I think we did pretty well considering I actually had to re uh, rebuild everything tear it down etc we also brought back the parrot. So Parrot V2 was brought through the portals um, to its new home and it took me so long to get him to actually land there so that I could have him sit and he could be safe. And also bringing him through the first nether portal was almost impossible. I had to like put planks up and push him and like force him through. Uh, but then getting him here was a, a little bit easier through this one. It was just the first portal that was almost a nightmare. And I also have a painting. Um, I put a little bit of detailing on the floor just to change up the texture. Um, I actually changed it with the, I guess it's called stripped. Yeah, so I stripped it and I didn't strip these ones. I did strip the ceiling, just trying to get some different uh, textures here other than just the regular oak feel and using a little bit of spruce and a little bit of dark oak wood wherever I can. So yeah, that's the the new house tour. Thank you for joining. All right, and with that, episode two is done. Um, thank you so much for watching, um, and thank you so much for the people who made comments on the last episode. It actually meant a lot to me to see that there were some of you who actually engaged with the content and liked what I had to put out there. Um, if you liked this video, make sure that you hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any other comments and maybe ideas on how to make that bamboo farm a little bit more efficient in terms of the collecting system or anything, I'd love to see your comments in the comment box. At any rate, thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all later. Bye!